coach came in the other day and he talked to his body, you know, when a guy drops his rifle, we got to pick it up and move forward. You know, with losing Braxton, that's a big impact on the team. And, you know, we just got to keep moving forward. We can't dwell on it because that's not going to make us any better. The moment that it happened, were you first of all even aware that it happened? And what was the mood like that practice? Uh, we thought somebody had ran into him, you know, but uh, the mood was suddenly everybody just lost focus, you know, because he's a, he's the leader of his team, and, you know, especially with quarterback, you know coming in and doing the things that he did, you know, it's a big loss, but we're going to be all right. Urban Myers talked so much about building the culture here and having mm -hmm. it, be able to withstand things mm -hmm. like this. How strong do you think the culture is in Canada? Oh, yeah. I think uh, the culture here is very strong. It's different. You know, everybody's buying into what Coach Myers is selling. So, you know, you get left behind, really get left behind now if you're not paying attention because everybody's coming and working. Even, even the freshman class came in and, you know, they stepped their game up really quick, and that's the fastest I've ever seen freshmen come in and, you know, adapt to a certain coach, especially being in college. Is there more resolve even now? Uh, people are going to count us out. We don't have to practice. We're going to show people that we're still what we are. Right. I mean, you know, people can count us out all, all they want. It's about what we want to do as a team. You know, if we don't if we don't stick together, then that's our fault. But we're determined to stick together and keep moving forward. And we have faith in our two quarterbacks that's behind Braxton. You see JT Verd play obviously more than we have. What do you see in practice from JT? Oh, JT is uh, he's a very mature quarterback. You know, he hasn't had a lot of game reps, but. You know, coach said you get your game reps at practice, so he's coming out. He has a lot of he has a, he has a lot of good things that you know that'll be showcased first game. What are his strengths? Uh, he's very good at you know getting everybody together and being basically being a leader. You know, that's what you need in a quarterback: being a leader, leader, and getting this offense rolling. Anybody call Kenny Guyton and tell him to come back? <laughs> Not that I know of, but you know, in this situation, you wish he was still here. But you know. Everybody has to move on, and every team has to adjust to adversity. So this is a big adverse situation for us, and we just go keep it moving. Can this team win the Big Ten? Oh yes, we can. I mean, like I said, if we stick together and do what we were supposed to, we, we shouldn't have any problems. How much did maybe Kenny Guyton coming in last year in that situation when Braxton was injured maybe play into your guys' confidence in this season as well? You know. We we gonna think it's the same way. Same way, you know. Everybody gets that, like I said, gets a game and mental reps. So basically, Kenny Guyton didn't miss any reps last year. So we take the same approach. We should be fine. Do you think there's more pressure on the defense now? How do you feel about that? I don't think it's more pressure. You know, we can't look at it as more pressure. We got to look at it as a good thing as we moving forward. And you know, if we look at it as more pressure, then we get stressed out and things won't go the way we want them to go because we'll be all pressured and be worried about making mistakes. We still go out there and have fun and play the game. Because that's what we're here for. How, how did practice go this morning? Practice went very well. You know, we came out with a lot of energy. You know, Coach uh, Coach Meyer gave us a re reward, so we don't have to wear shoulder pads this afternoon. So, you know, that that basically gave a lot, everybody a lot of energy to come out and just move forward and do the things we need to do, become better. He was just telling us that he thought it was as good of a practice as he's seen since he's been at Ohio State. How? Why did this team come out and have a practice like that? after a situation like this? Uh, because, you know, it's kind of like, you know, he gave us some motivation this morning. He started us off, you know, rewarding us and telling us what we had. And, you know, as that, he's told us practice like pros. And, you know, be to practice like a pro, you see how they practice and you come out and you want to just go fast and just give the coaches what he asked for.